Welcome back, Aggies, to another season of In the Huddle, your show for Cameron Sports. Today we have coverage of both men and women's basketball and the Aggie of the Week. Let's go In the Huddle. Uh, yeah, shout out to see you. I see you, I got you. Let's do it, uh, let's go. Hey, yo, yep, we Aggies. We Aggies, welcome to Cameron, the home of true athletes. Catch us on the court, we gon' ball till we fall. And we ain't gon' stop until we win it all. Yep, we Aggies. We Women's basketball came home on Saturday to play division rival UCO. Losers of four straight, the team looked to snap that streak and pick up their first Lone Star Conference win of the season. Here's some of the highlights. We pick up action in the second half. The Aggies were down by 15, 39 to 24. Here, Grisham finds Alyssa Fuchsa for the free throw jumper. Fuchsa had 21 in the game. Aggies come right back down the court though to match. Love Rattler finding Josie Stewart who drives baseline and she knocks down the baseline jumper. Here, Fuchsa again going inside, misses the first, but gets the rebound and the putback and draws a foul. She was a terror against the Aggies. Tara Tremaine finding Lindy Neville for the layup on the give and go. Neville saw the score off the bench in this game. Over to Love Rattler. Gets the ball inside to Jessica Priest. She turns around for the jump hook. It's good. Here, Josie Stewart driving, finding Lindy Neville for the baseline three. She knocks it down. Aggies very good from three-point range today. And there's Love Rattler with the ball fake lay-in. She has 17 points to go with eight assists. Fast break opportunity here. Pass over to Jordan Kalk. Josie Stewart gets a three. She misses, but Kalk picks up the rebound, finds Love Rattler for the three, and she knocks it down. One of her two three-pointers made in today's game. Rattler goes down the court. Spin move with the runner. It's good. Rattler, a solid game today for the Aggies. Rattler over to Alexis Williams, freshman from San Antonio. She gets to lay in on the drive. She had 12 points and five boards. Josie Stewart over to Colton to love Rattler for her second three of the game, and she knocks it down. Aggies had a tough time against UCO, though they lost 89 to 69. Josie Stewart led the Aggies with 22 points, three rebounds on six of 10 shooting, and Love Rattler had 17 points and eight assists. Coach Webb talking about picked up the first win for the season for the Aggies. Our next six games are going to be huge for us, and uh, we actually just talked yesterday about getting over the hump. When you get the first one, then kind of everything else kind of goes out the window, and you just go play with that first one. Sometimes when you're trying to get off, off the snide or trying to kind of get a roll going, you got to get the first one. And if we get that, we'll be fine. And, and it is important. And the sooner we get it, the better it'll be. Men's basketball also played UCO on Saturday. They were looking for their first win in conference play and snap a two-game losing streak. It was a grinded out game from the start, and we were there to get the highlights. Men starting a warm-up here. Very important game as they're looking for their first conference win. Soldiers from Fort Sill, okay, we're here to support the Aggies. And it was superhero day in the Aggie gym as we see some of the fans supporting their Aggies in the most unusual ways. Pick up action on the first possession for the Aggies. Nico Vukadinovic drives to his right, finds Terry Dawson for the three, and he knocks it down. Aggies score first, but UCO bounces right back on their next possession. Dante Williams sets up for the three, nothing but the bottom of the net. He had a double, double for UCO. At halftime, it was 40-30 in UCO's favor. Coach Alexander, getting the troops together, say let's go. On this play here, Dante Williams drops to his left, shakes Donovan Jones, sets up for the three, and knocks it down. One of the five three-pointers Williams made in the game. 62-62 at uh, the midway point. Jock Williams sets up for the three, but he misses it, and we go to overtime. Here on the first possession of overtime for the Aggies, Callan Glasgow drives to the lane and gets it off the glass. He had 14 points and 13 rebounds. Second possession here, Jock Williams gets the ball, sets up for the three. From way downtown, he knocks it down. One of his two three-pointers, Aggies go up by three at that point. Eric Casamine for UCO drives to his right, gets it off the glass. UCO goes up that point 69-67 and they pull out an upset win against Cameron, 71 to 69. Callan Glasgow had 14 points, 14 rebounds and three assists. Nate Murray had 14 points and 13 boards on seven of nine shooting off of the bench. Josie Stewart was named Aggie of the Week this week. Stewart has led the women's basketball team in scoring, rebounding, three-point shooting, and minutes played. 
Aggie Video Network play-by-play -play man Kyle Luters interviews Stewart about the recognition. You can view it by going to Cameron's athletic website, goaggies.cameron.edu, and click on the link, Aggie of the Week. Let's take a look at the schedule for this week. Basketball heads back to you at ECU on January the 30th. Women play at 2, men play at 4 p.m. Baseball starts its season on February the 1st against Arkansas Fort Smith. That game starts at 1 p.m. as they head to Arkansas for their first game of the season. That ends this episode of In the Huddle. Watch all of CU TV shows on YouTube by searching CU Internet TV with no spaces. You'll find episodes of Top of the Hour and This Week in SGA. For everyone here in the CU TV studio, I'm Michael Faget. We'll see you in the huddle.